653 time for morning sprint. The DOT says its new flex lanes are almost ready for drivers on the belt line. Crews are currently testing the lanes, which started going in last March. The DOT releasing this video to show drivers what to expect when they go live later this month. State Patrol will monitor the belt line during peak traffic times and can activate them remotely. They'll also be used during crashes that can cause backups. We expect to learn more about the flex lanes when we speak with the DOT later today. Protesters continue to call on the White House to do more to ensure abortion access for women in every state. Demonstrations took place in cities across the country over the weekend. Ten states have enacted near total abortion bans since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade June 24th. Nearly two dozen other states have moved to outlaw or severely restrict the procedure. Production of baby formula ramping up again at Abbott Nutrition's Michigan plant. Damage and flooding from severe thunderstorms forced the facility to halt operations in mid-June. That was just two weeks after the factory reopened following a months-long shutdown over a contamination issue. The closure contributed to a national shortage of baby formula. Abbott says its special formula for infants went back online at the start of the month. It's still working to restart production of its other products. Former Governor Tommy Thompson has endorsed Tim Michaels for governor. In a statement, Thompson said that he's known the Michaels family for decades and believes that Tim has the experience to solve tough problems. Michaels also has the backing of former President Donald Trump. Polls show that Michaels is in a tight primary race with former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish. Walking for a good cause. That's what the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County did this weekend in an effort to raise money for their future. The all-day event is part of the Move for Youths in our community. It included a one-mile black history walking tour through downtown Madison and a stop at each side of the Boys and Girls Clubs in Dane County. This year will mark 20 years of service for the local club. There is a severe thunderstorm watch to our south and west this morning. That's where I'm tracking some showers of thunderstorms through Iowa. This may bring a couple of showers closer to the state line. Temperatures, though, as you begin to head out, are on the increase. Still into the 60s and 70s for just about all of us. Madison, we are at 73 right now. We're going to be warming things up to 85 as you go throughout the day. Again, I cannot rule out a stray shower or thunderstorm today. Lower 80s by midweek. All right. Chris Reese, thank you very much. And thanks for joining us this morning, folks. Have a great Monday. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.